This video is sponsored by Scentbird. What if there was a way to eat free food for the rest of your life? I'm talking packages, oh? boxes, cases of food, and this is the stuff that I decided to keep for myself. Toiletries, clothes, furniture, and even gifts, all for free. Ow. All it takes is jumping into a dumpster. Ew. After hopping into a dumpster, you will not look at food the same way again. Would you do it? People from all over the world are joining the dumpster diving lifestyle to fight what? for financial independence and retire as early as 30 years old. But there are a few things you have to overcome. Getting caught can be quite embarrassing. Uh, we had like eight employees come out. Right after we turn the camera off. There are some rules that can't be broken or you'll find yourself- Well, okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, health risks, you know, bacteria in the dumpster. But I kind of get it because I know a lot of there's a lot of things that are coming out now where restaurants are literally throwing away hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fresh food. And it's shocking. It's like, why don't you give them to the homeless before you throw them away? Why are you just throwing away food that you don't sell that day? I don't understand. Why are you why not give it to homeless people? Or people that are uh, not that well off, like if we give it to a food bank or something. Legal liability. What do you mean? You're watching a lot of videos of different forms of diving. This one seems safe, though. <laughs> well, uh, no, because you could eat bacteria. <laughs> Never mind. Meaning, if you, if I give it to you and you get sick, you can do. Oh, uh, well, I mean. Like, give it to the homeless housing that they have. You know, the people where they can go into the shelters um, that night. Uh, and they can have somewhere to stay, sleep, to eat, shower before they go back out. Give it to those. They're still liable. But if they're labeled, are they? It's just too risky. That is so insane. Why would you sue restaurants that are trying to do a good deed i don't understand this world i really don't would you like people get so pissed off because they're throwing away all this food and then but then they would probably sue them if they got sick that's just disgusting you can't have both ways pick which side i, I don't understand this world i really don't bacteria breeding in dumpster bins is cleaning your dumpster finds really enough? My friend got really sick from eating. Next thing you know, he has acid for days and vomiting constantly. Oh, Some man. of the things you find may traumatize you. Uh, I am shocked. The, the thing is, they have to throw away that food by law because of health reasons. So, so giving it to people can be dangerous. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like, okay, um, what's a place here? Uh, I think Panera did it. Was it Panera? It was some bread restaurant place. Okay, uh, donut place. Okay, so a donut place, right? They make the donuts daily, okay? And then at the end of the day, they have to throw away the donuts that don't get sold that day. The donuts are not bad, right? They're not bad. They're just that day. They were made that day fresh. Why would that be illegal or cause problems if sent to a homeless shelter? They're labeled as what they have containing in them. So like, let's say you have a peanut allergy. You don't eat the donuts that have fucking peanuts in them. I, I don't understand. Hi, Galver. Hello. Hi, Tisco. Because the business assumes the risk. There should be a law where once the food is handed to the homeless shelter or wherever the crap it's going to for the people in need, they no longer assume responsibility. Once it's handed over and the, the homeless shelter accepts the food, the, the restaurant is no longer liable for what humans do to their bodies. They still made it. But that's why I'm saying the law, the law should change. Once it's handed over, they should not, and they, it's like valid that everything is labeled correctly, then they should not be held accountable.
because I didn't know about everything that you're telling me that this could be this that people could you know the legal effects that it could have I thought companies were just being stupid and selfish and just throwing away food that could be used for other like could be used for good but why would I think that I don't know why I just didn't immediately think people fucking disgusting and they're ugh. world upsets me humanity faith in humanity has tanked even lower appalled i'm angry three of them are dead and then one of them in here is still alive if you're not careful oh. enough things can take wait what was that rats appalled i'm angry three of them are dead and then one of them in here is still alive if you're not is careful it? enough things can take rats? a dark turn one lady lost her life in the most heartbreaking way. This case brings to light the dangers. Dumpster diving is not safe. Is this behavior even legal? It's taken an unexpected turn, I'll say that. I didn't think I was gonna see all of you today. I'm gonna tell you part. Let's take a look at both amazing and terrifying dumpster finds. Okay. People say that one man's trash is another one's treasure, but how far would someone go to get that treasure? Companies are constantly pushing new products to try and make their consumers happy. But when new products move in, old products have to move out. What happens to the stock left over after clearances? Sometimes it ends up in the trash, in perfect shape, just no longer wanted. These people are getting some pretty sweet swag from the dumpsters, and you would likely never know it came from your local trash. TikToker Teresa Kaddish is well known in the dumpster diving community for pulling impressive hauls from dumpsters. In one of her most viral videos with over 11 million views, uh, she had a great find she wanted to share with others. Oh my god, there's just so much. Uh, oh my god. I wouldn't. There's just so many cherries. The uh, entire community came and they ate too, too many cherries together. In another video, she found more fruit in another dumpster and had plans to make it last longer. We're going to dehydrate these otherwise useless strawberries. The mushiest ones are sorted from the rest and then they're cleaned and cut in half and set on trays. Then they're like, dehydrated at 100 and How long were they out? How long were they in the dumpster? Like, I could understand furniture, clothes, electronics but once it becomes food that's going into your body and you don't know what contaminants 35 degrees she did the same to the bananas the flesh is bruised in places it won't last long but once it's dehydrated it can become a higher quality food she jarred the dehydrated fruit to eat at a later date you may already realize you don't have much of a choice with what you find in the dumpster and Teresa is well aware of this she said she doesn't always like to eat the food she finds but she likes to give it a new life call me a snark but I would never buy this pizza at a store it's trash whether or not it's in the dumpster but nonetheless I can share it with friends we use what's here. Decay doesn't have to disgust. It brings you life. Maybe fresh fruits aren't your cup of tea. Well, you'll be interested to know there's something for everyone. Several people have found bags of candy and chocolate. Sweet trash. I mean, man, we found some amazing Oh! Today. Is that what they do at stores when Halloween's over? And they're still, like, shelving of, of candy and they just dump it into the dumpster, I bet. And then... Just go dumpster diving the day after Halloween. You get so much candy. <laughs> you get trash bags after trash bags after trash bags of candy. <laughs> but like the, when she got the haul of the uh, the frozen foods, I, I still wouldn't do that though because they're frozen food, right? Once they thaw, you can't refreeze frozen food, right? Once it thaws out, you have to eat it within like a couple hours, right? Correct. So, unless she is diving right after they toss the frozen food into the dumpster and she's not waiting hours, and depending on where she lives, because in Alaska, Alaska is probably fine during the winter. It's, uh, you, we put our, our, Frozen stuff in the snow and the power goes out. <laughs>
power went out last year and everybody on my like street just put all of their refrigerated stuff into the snow. <laughs> if you cook it, you can freeze it back up. Yeah, but that depends on how... But frozen food? Like already made meal? I guess so. Netherlands, Europe. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, the kind of sh I didn't think you could find in the trash, you know? This is our score from Dollar General. I am at the Dollar General. Check this out. Look A at this. A whole thing of- We got Mountain Dew there. Mountain Dew there. We got more down here. A whole I thing? Why, literally, this keeps happening to me. A whole bag of M&Ms. There's Twix, Snickers. We got bags full of snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Boxes of these Lind chocolate. Bars. Oh, there's all the candy bars and stuff. Other scores in a dumpster full of frozen meals. This dumpster was full. It's Somebody not delivery, you. it's DiGiorno. We pulled up to this Target dumpster, and everything underneath the top layer was still frozen. There was two dumpsters like this. That's a lot of pizza, though. Ugh. But this is at night. When do they- when do companies usually throw their food into the dumpster? This is like nighttime. You're like midnight dumpster diving so you don't get caught. That's like what? Three hours? Depending- and then if you live in a hot area? Like let's say you're dumpster diving in Florida. Ew. 30 minutes out there and it's already melted. Some of those are probably the store lost power and they had to dump the food. I saw when, I think it was COVID. I think it was during COVID. Maybe it was during COVID. I'm not sure. Where there was this dumpster diving, uh, like the companies were just going crazy. Not companies, uh, communities were going crazy dumpster diving. I think it was during COVID. Yeah, it was. Okay. Because, Things were just getting too cost, like costly and stuff. So people were just going into the dumpsters and grabbing their groceries. Ah, you know, it doesn't sound bad, but the fear of germs. I could not, I could never do this. I don't think. I could probably do it for electronics. I don't know if I could do it for clothing. Probably not. It was on my skin. I, I don't know. I would have to have like a really good disinfectant. <laughs> it was packaged and sealed. Yeah, that's what my my mom gave me the fear of Halloween candy. So I I buy a, I like last year I bought Halloween can like candy uh for a Halloween and I put a bowl outside because I wasn't going to answer the door for any of the little shitters, right? So I put a big bowl of candy outside for Halloween. I didn't answer the door. I dressed up, though, but I didn't answer the door. Um, and thankfully, there wasn't a lot of kids. So the bowl was still kind of full. But I still have the bowl of candy in my pantry. <laughs> Because I, myself, am too scared to eat the candy during Halloween. <laughs> it's still up there in the top shelf of the pantry. And yeah. I swear if you put that candy out again. <laughs> so full of food. Nothing is expired and everything is still frozen. And that's not even a dent. See, it goes all the way to the front. Others found a bountiful supply of snacks. All right, guys, so we are checking a local Dollar Tree. Oh, we just scored a Lots huge jackpot right here. Look at all these. That's my Rainbow favorite, chocolate. man. Um, this first I mean, you're saving a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Down in front is from Walgreens. That's a lot of money. That could last you for months. Six of these, two of these, and I got this whole case of water because one was broke. All these protein bars and protein snacks that I found at GNC. Are you hungry? Do you need a snack? Do you need a smart tart, a lean bar? What did he just put them in? Packaged food isn't the only thing you can snack. Do you need 
bars and protein snacks that I found at GNC. Are you hungry? Do you need a snack? Do you need a smart? What was that? Water? Cookie? Packaged food isn't the only thing you can find in the dump. Fast food restaurants will trash large quantities of leftover oh. stock. TikToker Jenna, also known as Thick Rich Bit, showed off tons of Krispy Kreme donuts in the trash. Uh! So to anyone who no. doesn't know, Krispy Kreme throws away all of Don't their donuts you fucking in dare. garbage outside their buildings. People had mixed reactions about the thrown out donuts. Bro, I ain't no raccoon. It's like the Krabby Patty vault in SpongeBob. Oh! I wish they would just put it outside for the homeless people. This is sad. People are starving and they throw food. And this isn't the first time we've heard of donuts being thrown away. In summer of 2021, Dunkin' Donuts was also exposed for dumping donuts, which we discussed well, in a previous video. Well, now we know why they do it and they can't give. Okay, dude, they, they can't do it because you got crazy people trying to sue them if they did do it. You can't win in this world. Video that'll be linked down below. You'll also be surprised to find out that this current trendy bakery is also allegedly trashing their goodies, crumble cookies. Crumble cookies of the week. Here we go. TikToker Tiffany Shere, also known as you can't get mad Dad at them, Mama, is a well-known diver on TikTok with over 2.4 million subscribers. She shared her experience diving for crumble cookies in January 2022. She called out the restaurant for throwing away freshly baked cookies. Look. Look, wow, there's more. Look at that, more cookies thrown away. And a whole bag of freaking frost. Well then, go in there before closing. Buy out every. And then give it to the homeless people if you're gonna get mad. Like y'all, these are, they're right off the tray. But, and they're warm. She visited the dumpster a week later and found that crumble cookies had since locked their dumpster. All right, guys, we're back at that crumble where we found cookies multiple Buying times. doesn't rage me, I she guess. She suspected they did this after she called them out on TikTok. So Good on you, I company. I wouldn't put them on blast anymore. Maybe junk food isn't your thing and you're just looking to make a wholesome meal for your friends and family. You'll be surprised to know full fresh meals are thrown away all the time and completely sealed. TikToker Dumpster Diving Freegan, who has over 400k followers, showed how lucky you can get at a Whole Foods nope. in one mm -mm. of the most viral nope. videos, nope, nope, reaching nope, nope, over nope, nope, 10 nope. million views. Dumpster diving at Whole Foods is nothing like I've ever seen before. Every time I come to this particular store, I find once it's meat. Oh, that's playing with fire, bro. Once it's meat, you're playing with. Just thrown out oh, well no, before no. it's best by date. Last night, I found enough meat to feed an entire community. Her haul included chicken, yeah, meat, but what is it? beyond sausage, beyond meatballs, sauces, juice, fruits, vegetables, and yogurt. You might be thinking, this food is probably contaminated or on the brink of expiring. Dumpster Diving Freegan explained the food was still good because it was still cold and none of it was expired or recalled. Cold, she but was it frozen still? Thrown out on like if it's thawed. It but explained food can be eaten past its best by date. Despite having a large quantity of items she'd collected, she said she left a large amount of food behind. In an interview with The Sun, dumpster diving Freegan said she believed she found more than $1,000 worth of food in her Whole Foods haul. In another visit to her local Whole Foods, she found over 100 loaves of bread that were still good to be eaten. During the same haul, she like toilet paper, toilet paper, paper towels, cups, Stuff like that. That I could see, right? Toilet paper is hella expensive, so I, I get that. Like, hygiene products and stuff like that. But once you go for meat and it's thawed... Mm -mm. ...of toilet paper, boxes of olive oil, apples, potatoes, tea, cups, baby foods, and cakes. That's a lot of food and supplies, which can be wasteful if she isn't able to finish all the food she collected. But dumpster diving Freegan shared her solution to this problem. Donating. She donates most of her finds to local food banks so that others can benefit from her dives. After one of Dumpster Diving Freegan's videos went viral on Twitter, someone claiming to be a former Whole Foods employee said, I got fired from Whole Foods because I took home the bagels and muffins that they were going to throw in the trash. They also threw away approximately eight pieces. Okay, this is crazy. He got fired because he took home the bagels and muffins that they were going to throw away in the trash. Whole Foods should allow... Their, con their employees, if they're going to throw away the food, just give it to your employees. 
Because I'm pretty sure some uh, fast food restaurants allow their employees to take home the food that they're going to throw away, right? A lot of places do. Okay. Someone get her arrested. I bet she's not even saying I'm taking them from the dumpster. Yeah, the lady that gave it to like the shelters and everything. I, I'm pretty sure she is supposed to disclose where she got that stuff, right? That's, yeah, but that's going to make a lot of loopholes. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, if there's, like, a lot of bakery, like, of course, if the bakery makes too much, right? Um, I guess there's a loophole, like, they could purposely make too much. Or, um, but then again, it's monitored, right? the managers and the higher ups monitor that because if you're making too much, you're also using a lot of product and therefore you're pulling money out of the person that owns that place because they're like, why am I paying a lot more than I used to pay? What is happening? And then that person should get fired if they are causing things like that to happen. Every night and told the hot foods department they'd get fired if they ate some without paying first. The Daily Dot spoke to a spokesperson from Whole Foods who denied the claims. Millions of pounds of perishable and non-perishable food to local food banks and food rescue agencies across the United States. Since 2013, Whole Foods Market has donated approximately 180 million pounds of food through our grocery rescue program. This equates to approximately 150 million meals for people in need in our local communities. In 2020 alone, Whole Foods Market donated over 27 million meals to food rescue and redistribution programs nationwide. Whole Foods isn't the yeah. only company to have an issue with dumping still good products. Bath & Body Works is another company well known in the dumpster diving community. TikToker Leah, also known as Diving with Leah, has over 700k followers and has a number of viral videos. She is known for her successful hauls at the Candle & Fragrance Empire. In one of her most viral videos with over 10 million views, she managed to find several candles and a couple of body lotions. Okay, All see, I would do that. Unsanitary, and it may seem hard to reach or climb candles. Into candles are good. Showed how she candles are fucking expensive. Tool to collect the items. Another popular TikToker, Brandon Tyler's, shared how dumpster diving at Bath and Body Works changed his life. Get in the dumpster, the store, hex nod. Know, grab like really long grabbers, like she had. In their dumpsters for free, okay? They're just usually shattered, and you just got to break the glass off. But anyway, so today I broke the glass off a of frozen lake. And you know what it honestly smells like? A dumpster? It smells like saving money. So oh. This <laughs> the best way to go about things. I would have said it Instead smells like a dumpster. Around broken glass, you can go to Ross or Marshalls for a cheaper price. It's giving Mr. Krabs <laughs> vibes. Good for you, though. Haha. -ha. Things got interesting when former Bath and Body Works employees commented on the video, bringing up their experiences. I worked there for almost a year and sometimes I would volunteer to take the trash out so I could take all the candle bags and hide them to get later. The amount of product I witnessed being wasted at that place when I worked there was astronomical. As a former Bath and Body Works employee, I'm happy. Seeing all of these free products no. and how easy it is to get them makes it really intriguing for the normal everyday person to put it to the test. T Bales, a lifestyle vlogger with over 100. Okay, let's followers, dumpster dive, chat. And documented her first <laughs> dive on TikTok. Y'all, I did a thing today. I went dumpster diving. I know some of you are like, what in the world? This is so random. But this no. is something that I have wanted to do like literally forever. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. She said she had been inspired by dumpster diving mama and wanted to try it out for herself. Another popular dumpster diving TikToker, Jennifer, who has over 1 million followers, found a surprising number of party decor items discarded. Oh my god. <laughs> I need streamers. This is Why would you ridiculous. I mean, you I could find it. something to use for that. I well, guess. I don't love it. This should never happen. This is, should all be donated to the thrift store the church the schools this is just silly. oh true the schools yeah, the silly. churches that this kind of waste exists people were appalled at the amount wasted this stuff doesn't expire like it makes no sense. yeah true why do they throw that throw this stuff away instead of donating if this stuff went to schools the teachers could use it to decorate their classrooms instead of spending their own true money. 
Someone claiming to be a Party City employee said the store didn't follow procedure. I'm a manager at a Party City and all that was supposed to be donated, shaking my head. After oh. cleaning up at Party City, she went to a Five Below dumpster where she found a number of goodies, including a phone case, a wig, a rug, and some essential oils. This time, she claimed 99% of her findings would be donated. Another popular dumpster diving site is CVS Pharmacy. In their dumpsters, divers find all kinds of things, from nail polish to sealed snacks. TikToker Grab It Fast found a whole stash of makeup products in the CVS. Okay, makeup I would not do. Diving mom nope. Found mm -mm. a bag of adorable kids' accessories and stationery. What's up, guys? I'm at CVS and I peeked in and saw this little bag. Oh, I think it's Claire's stuff. Oh my god, they're so cute. The gloss. These are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. You put that dumpster bag on your car. See, perfectly sealed safety items that we Ew. all had trouble finding earlier in 2020. I am at a CVS, and there was this box back here, and I opened it up. Look at this. Why are all females? Three. I mean, there was a couple men. And they were throwing them away. Look at all these. Just bags full of hand sanitizing wipes. Jennifer hit gold when she found a bag of household products that were cleared from the shelves. At what the about the Sephora the dumpster? Let's see what CBS has for us today. Uh, hold on. Okay, so somebody poked a hole in it, so they have to throw it away. I would not touch that one. Oh hell no, that's contaminated. Same with this one, there's a little hole. Nope, nope, this those are already amazing. bad. Dumpster no, it's not. Perez also had good luck at her local CVS. Now you're gonna have germs in your booty hole. Or your hoo ha. Inside of a CVS dumpster, and only about half of this food ended up being past its best buy date. Food and miscellaneous items are not the only things you can find. Fashion items are constantly being thrown out. TikToker Akia Michino found boxes of brand new shoes. Y'all, take a look at this. Just decided to take a peek at one of the Nordstroms, and there was two huge boxes of Steve Madden brand new. TikToker Kayla Stewart found a luxury oh. bag. I spotted this. Check this out. Freaking Louis Vuitton. There ain't no way. Made in France, official Louis Vuitton. Not There's no way. That's staged. I think. Real leather, for sure. Glamour D Dye found a box of Gucci Yeah, that's shoes. fake. There ain't What's no even way. More fun than finding free clothes, finding furniture, exciting thing to do. And you might not like how you smell after. But don't worry. Our sponsor for today's video, Scentbird, wow. can help you. <laughs> Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service with over 600 brands, including luxury names like Prada, Gucci, and Versace. It's a flexible subscription, allowing you to skip any month without penalties. If you love changing up your scent or having a different fragrance for different occasions, Scentbird also allows you to upgrade your subscription to receive two to three products a month. Oh, smooth, not gonna lie, yeah. If scent speaks to you, Scentbird makes it easy by sending you a 30-day supply so you can try it out first before committing to a full bottle. I wonder no if budget, cops for everyone. A look at these TikToks. $150 to $500, and the 30-day supply costs $16. And then Here find these people that scents. dumpster dive. And then arrest them or smell, find them. Now back to the story. Dumpster diving seems like a no-brainer. Free food and products can save a whole lot of money. A but shit not ton of money. Has the best experiences. Some dives are disappointing when items are purposely broken. Here are just a few. A cut-up coach shoe and bag. Ah, so this is what you were talking about. Draws. Torn up bags of pet food from an unnamed pet store. Scribbled oh, wow. decorative signs and lanterns with missing glass. Bed Bath & Beyond spray-painted, sliced up, and poured coffee grounds on the products going into the dumpster. Junk food is also cut up. Here at CVS, and look what they did. Cut open every bag of candy, not the nerds. But like... Maybe stop making videos, because they're looking at these videos. Unfortunately, that's not the most disappointing thing you can find during your dive. Things hit a whole new level of shock and disgust when some people found live just... pets thrown away outside pet <gasps> stores. TikToker Glamour D Dive found a creature of the sea. Okay, guys, I am so disgusted. Oh my gosh. Can't you? Beta fish? No talk. He was floating in styrofoam with mixed up water. 
It's really hard to tell, but I promise he's alive. Glamour D Dive ended up saving the betta fish and putting him in the fish tank she already owned. On another occasion, Glamour D Dive found another live fish, a fairy wrasse. This is the box that came in. They threw their fish deliveries in the cardboard. What the there. fuck? Unfortunately, this fish was having a tough time. Glamour D Dive explained that due to being in the trash for hours, the fish developed an illness called swim bladder disease, causing it to swim upside down. I'm home now. You can see, you can actually see now that he is alive. TikToker Rose D diving found Can't a you? furry animal. In this is animal abuse. It's illegal. Can't you report the company that did it? The dumpster outside a pet store. Okay, I am dumpster diving, and there is something moving inside this bag. No is shot. It a, is it hamster or a mouse? No, a hamster. What if it's an, a wild? Rose took the hamster home and gave her a new home. A Multiple people found small feathery animals in the dumpster. Uh, there is so no sure. fucking oh. sh- Please tell me these are all staged. There is no what fucking is shot. Hello? These are staged, right? Oh my god, it's a live bird. Are you kidding me? I just found him in- the Look what I found in Pekka's dumpster. And I thought it was a toy. I swear to God. Oh One my. One of the dumpster divers found the bird during working hours and approached the Petco manager about the terrifying situation. He didn't have much to say. This was in your trash. This is a live bird that was in the Petco trash. And it's a parakeet. A lot. That is not what we do now. Well, this is unacceptable. Yeah, I agree. I'll Aside from the terrifying finds, Petco also trashes pet supplies. TikToker Glamour D Dive went to a Now I'm gonna be paranoid, bro. I'm gonna be dumpster toys. diving looking for animals, bro. <laughs> So, Fuck the other that? shit! The I'm gonna be inspired, fucking dumpster diving looking like for animals! And strategically. In an interview with The Sun, dumpster diving Freegan revealed she <laughs> works full time in a financial <laughs> position, but wants to save up enough money so she's able to retire by the age of 30. She explained she is part of the FIRE movement, which stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. She added that in addition to saving money through I mean, this calls, is a good way. She's also able to donate large portions of her findings to food banks. And his Others, big brain. such as professional dumpster diver Matt Malone, use dumpster diving to provide additional income for themselves. Hey, his Matt Malone, isn't he the rapper, dude? He dumpster dives? Wait, no, he doesn't. He's not covered in tattoos. God, I keep... What is his name? That's Post Malone. Post Malone. Despite earning a six-figure salary at a consulting firm, Matt spends most of his off time dumpster diving and reselling barely tampered products for profit, which makes more money than My a bad. I'm job. sorry. Cameron McLeish, another dumpster diver, wrote a personal piece for the Huffington Post, where he spoke about the benefits of diving. I'm standing in front of fresh artisanal breads, crisp green vegetables, fine gourmet cheeses, and pristine slabs of meat. These things are expensive and out of my budget. Or they would be, except they're all free. This seemingly endless buffet is one of the many times I've discovered high quality food while dumpster diving around the US. He claimed to have gotten his start as a college student living- You would save so much if you didn't have allergies, right? If you, well, I mean, it's like grocery shopping just out of a dumpster. You would save a crap ton of money. Just don't post it online, you know? The, the companies that are locking their dumpsters now or slicing open bags of food is because they see TikTokers or Instagram people boasting about how they're dumpster diving. And the companies are probably on TikTok, like most of them are, and are like, okay, well, they live in our area, we're going to lock our dumpsters. They were supposed London. to do that the whole time? Wait, lock their dumpsters? Busy schedule. When the store would be closing, he noticed they would put fresh produce out in Really? Dogs. When he asked to purchase it, the employees refused to sell it to him because of liability risks. So Cameron took the opportunity to begin dumpster wait, 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 diving. Wait, wait, what? Because what the happened? fresh produce was done at night due to his busy schedule. When the store would be closing, he noticed they would put fresh produce out in bags. When he asked to purchase it, the employees refused to sell it to him because of liability risks. Uh. Wait, wait, why would they put... 
So you even you can't even sell it once they put it out, like right before closing, and they put it out. You can't even buy it, and they haven't even closed yet. What? So how are you gonna? How do you like? You have to go two hours before they close or something. Yeah, I get the whole liability thing, but the the store wasn't closed. And they were taking it off shelves, I think, and putting it into bags. The store wasn't even closed yet. I thought they were supposed to do that when the store closes. At night, due to his busy schedule, when the store would be closing, he noticed they would put fresh produce out in bags. When See? he asked to purchase And he asked to purchase them. It was fresh produce they would put out in bags. And he wanted to buy them, so they didn't throw them out. No longer for sale sale. So you have to get it before they put it in that clear plastic bag thingy that they do? I see. That clear plastic bag is... No, not for sale. Got it. Just it. The employees yeah, we don't know the full story. to him because of liability risks. So Cameron took the opportunity to begin dumpster diving. He said he continued to dumpster dive while traveling the world and learned that food waste is a global problem. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, 40% of America's food goes to waste. Dumpster Damn. diving is especially popular with people who want to live sustainable lifestyles. It gives them the opportunity to take someone else's waste and give an item a new life or put it to use before it expires. Most of us still associate dumpsters with gross trash. So how do these influencers find all these good quality items for free? Shell Bisley, a YouTuber who focuses on sustainable and low waste living, shared how she safely dumpster dives at Ulta. She goes equipped with a headlight and gloves to keep herself safe while diving. This is my setup, my GoPro and my headlamp. As we mentioned, Ulta often destroys their products before throwing them away to prevent customers from diving and trying to return the items for money. In some cases, it's illegal to dumpster dive at Ulta. In a past video of ours, a former employee mentioned diving could be considered stealing. Feeling. So, is it possible for you to safely dumpster dive? Planning and knowing your stores are key. Make sure you know the laws in the area. Frugal Mama from the Frugal Family on YouTube advises not to trespass or pick locks. Picking a dumpster lock is considered trespassing. Frugal Mama said there's a lot she takes into consideration when diving, such as if the place has security guards, what time it opens and closes, Yeah, that's what I was saying, honest. Why are you posting day, it? So she can time the dive perfectly. Because then cops can just look sure at your TikToks in her car. or your Instagram. Dumpster diving Freegan gave advice on which kinds of foods are okay to take. One, never take warm food. <sighs> Dang it, these are warm. So I'll take probably one or two of these bags. Those are too warm for me to take, so I'm actually going to throw them back in the dumpster. To okay. don't take to broken items. I was able to save five of the little aloe plants. And Three only take failed bananas. items. Bananas I did just find... Oh, filled filled. items? Oh, sealed oh, items. Turkey bacon. Take a look at that. It's still cold and sealed, so I'll probably take that. But is dumpster diving actually legal? Can someone get in trouble for it? Dumpster I would never take anything in all 50 states, like but some cities have garbage ordinances and can ban dumpster dairy diving or something. Because dairy goes cities. bad pretty fast, Furthermore, right? Some locations require a permit or license to dumpster dive. According to Treasure Pursuits, several cities in Illinois, such as Chicago, Aurora, Rockford, and Joliet, require permits ranging from 50 to You have a friend that works at a dump and they take a lot of stuff the before they trash the so, rest? As you can see, I like there. people like this because they are, they are, you know, reusing or they are giving trash waste a new life, you know? They are helping a little bit, but you don't have to post your crimes online. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Very important to check the laws within your city before you dive. Another important law to consider is if a dumpster is on private. I park, thought that was her freaking nose for a second. I was like, what the hell is wrong with her nose? Did they like chain her nose up to the fence? I thought her nose was like hooked to the fence. Oh my god. Like, that's what they're doing to dumpster divers? Holy! Property, <laughs> it's illegal to trespass and look inside. This looks like a bunch of boxes. <laughs> no. 
Alright. You can also get a trespassing charge if you break off the lock to access the trash. Why would you break off the, the lock? When there are no trespassing signs. Laws vary from state to state, but take California for example. A trespassing charge could land someone up to six months in jail and a Ooh. fine of up to a thousand dollars. Oh, isn't California notorious for throwing away a lot of a lot of stuff? I don't know. I, I have a bad I have a bad taste in my mouth for California. Um, every time I go to TwitchCon, it's like filthy there. Yeah, they are. Okay. If you get caught, even if it's legal in your city. They were watching from inside, but it's legal to dumpster dive. Most of the time, it will go smoothly. Side, I kept diving, and you wouldn't believe what happened next. Not a damn thing. But some of them <laughs> you too. seriously. Dumpster divers Chris and Holly shared their awkward interaction at Walmart, a situation no one ever wants to find themselves in. Yeah, oh, they like did a dumpster dive with their baby? Out. Right after we turned the camera off. Six to eight employees came out. We're like, you can't be doing it here. Uh, they warned yeah, us you if come we come back, back we're, we're pressing call charges. The police. Dumpster diver Jennifer had bad luck with one employee. I've only been caught like three times, and she's been the only twice, one time dearest reader. Somebody was actually like kind of upset about it and like said, you know, just told me to leave. Basically, like nothing bad happened. Sometimes things get a bit scary when security shows up, but the interactions aren't always bad. Glamour D dive showed us a glimpse of what a positive interaction with the authorities can look like. Hi. Ah, you again, huh? Yes, sir. So diving again. Yes, I was. Um, I was like, it's uh, I'm familiar with this car. Yeah, I was getting bath and body work. What I just found? Yeah. I mean, shit. The security guards can all. Do your research, and bro. Security guards, if he has a wife and kid, he can just be like, can I join you? <laughs> My wife's birthday's coming up. Can I join you? <laughs> she likes candles and, and lotion. <laughs> and are there legally, it's likely no one will bother you. YouTuber Abandoned Exploration Squad and a friend were stopped by police when they were diving at Party City and explained they were dumpster diving for candy and gifts to donate to local food banks and women's shelters. They shared their positive experience. They understand, like, that we were there with good intentions. We weren't, like, we weren't trying to take all this candy for ourselves. We were trying to donate it and, like, make the world a better place. Yeah, you do you! But sometimes, you can still get in trouble. Welcome to the dark side of dumpster diving, uh -huh. where laws may not be so clear-cut, and the reason why products are trashed may go unnoticed. TikToker Grab It Fast was stopped by a police officer and security guard, and their initial interaction was positive. There's no no trespassing on it. It's not locked. There's a lock there that they could very well use, and they don't. Yeah, that's, I'm looking at all that same stuff. As far as stuff, once it goes into the dump, there's a game. Mm -hmm. But things took a turn for the worse when a small detail was shared. Well, the lid was closed. Okay. It's on. It's on. Be breaking at that point. Mm -hmm. um, Get just because the lid's closed? Yeah, because you had to move something in order to access I just, it. I just opened it. Yeah, but opening is the breaking. So when they say breaking and entering, it doesn't necessarily mean physically breaking something. It means basically like opening. Like if a door is unlocked, but you open the door to enter, you've now broken. As you can see, things can get pretty messy if the store decides to pursue oh, any legal action against that you is because of a minor detail. I'm just going to grab your information. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you to leave for the night. YouTuber Thubprint was looking through garbage bins outside people's homes, but someone in the neighborhood was angry about this and called Okay, okay. Now you're going through people. That's gonna be weird because people throw away. Now, okay, this one I don't agree with. You're going through personal trash. You don't know what that person has in their trash. They could have like bill information or you, you don't do that. That... That is something completely different, bro. Called the cops on him. What you uh, doing here today? Well, I was looking for the bottles that people left out after Canada Day. Well, yeah. I'll get your license registration. Wait, what was he looking for? 
Well, I was looking for the bottles that people left out after Canada Day. <laughs> You're doing some bottle picking, eh? <laughs> but, eh, I can't. What does that mean? Who's Canadian in chat? What do you mean, bottle picking? What's bottle picking? Bottles. Bottles for what? What do you do with bottles? Leftover alcohol? Turn in for cat. Oh, like the glass bottles. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. I'll get your license registration insurance proof. After a long discussion, the officers decided they wouldn't arrest him, but instead would tow his car, which he had to pay vehicle-related fines for. A few people share their unfortunate experiences in the comments of TikTok Thank dumpster you for the follow. videos. My brother took melted down aluminum from a dumpster and he ended up arrested and is now a felon due to the value of the aluminum. Be careful. My girls and wow. I got caught. Was told next time we will be given a citation. One viewer warned other dumpster Boy. divers to be careful at Ulta. Be careful dumpster diving at Ulta. They break glass and pour chemicals sometimes on accident on stuff. Dumpster diver Bin Bin Ooh. also exposed how one Dollar Tree made it deadly to consume any of the food thrown away. So it looks like they poured out all of the food and then covered it in bleach. <sighs> Other stories Ew. were so outrageous they Wait, that's kind of messed meat. up though. Think about the animals that are going to try and eat that. Ugh. The Washington Post reported a story from October 2016 where two brothers, Tom and Sam Troyer, were arrested while dumpster diving outside a CVS store in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Not only were they looking for food for themselves, but they were looking to donate the large amounts of discarded food to charities. Unfortunately, do charities? actually take the donated food that dumpster divers do or did the dumpster divers not even disclose that they got it from a dumpster and the charities don't even know they take it them into serious trouble the troyers were arrested and charged with defiant trespassing and loitering and prowling at night both third degree misdemeanors while avoiding an arrest can sometimes be in your control health risks are harder to predict much of the produce looks perfectly fine but we can't but see not. the potential dangers with a simple glance no. A big reason companies throw out large quantities of food is often due to recalls or food expiring. Eating contaminated or expired food could leave someone exposed to a number of viruses. Oh, that is a big thing. There's a lot of recalls in the past couple months. You guys notice that? There is a lot of recalls, like uh, for vegetables because of what was it? Listeria, uh, boar's head, deli meat got recalled because of some contamination thing. I was looking at the FDA uh, PDF file of all the recalls in the past couple months and I was like, holy crap. Cinnamon, uh, the spice had a lot of lead in it. I was like, what in the hell is going on? Like every everything that had cinnamon, like, you know, when you just to use as the spice and um, a lot of different companies had to get their cinnamon, their ground cinnamon recalled. I was like, what in the world? What is happening? <laughs> Enterprises Incorporated and BizTac Groceries Incorporated recalled every single product they made because of salmonella caused by a rodent infestation. In early oh, February 2022, the Centers for Disease Control, CDC, recalled onions from the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico as they were linked to a salmonella. Yeah. I was looking at this PDF. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a lot of um, PD, uh, a lot of salmonella things too that were being recalled. Outbreak. Thankfully, the outbreak ended quickly and no one lost their life, but over a thousand people got sick from it. Early February 2022 also had the CDC recalling salad mixes produced by Dole as they were linked to cases of listeria. This ended tragically, claiming two lives. Wait, that happened in 2022 as well? So there's another listeria outbreak that happened like that's like kind of going on still happens a lot Aww. up to 500 items per year are pulled from the shelves by the american food and drug association fda the scary part is food with salmonella doesn't taste any different from uninfected food so it's not easy to tell if what you're eating has been contaminated Food Safety News reported the list of recalled foods may include dry foods such as grains, beans, flour, grocery canned goods, fats and oils, drinks, just say products, everything, fish products, baked goods, 
spices, everything and powder. And what about the expired foods? Everything. Foodborne illnesses could be your enemy. In r slash dumpster diet, someone is safe to asked eat. if people had ever gotten sick eating dumpster food, and people had varying responses. Someone with 30 years of dumpster diving experience only got sick a few times, but explained how it can be different for others. 20 years ago, I got mono, probably from secondhand food. I've gotten the runs a few times from stuff that was going bad, but I drink a lot of espresso anyway. One of my roommates has a sensitive stomach and we are keeping him away from the dumpster food mostly. In general, I have a good sense of what I can eat after 30 years of doing this. Another they must be said a filthy rich. They must have so much saved money for 30 years of dumpster diving and saving a shit ton of money. They must be like having so much. I hope they have a lot of money saved up and aren't wasting it. Sick. My friend got really sick from eating what looked like freshly thrown out warm Chinese food. Well, the next thing you know, he had piss for days and vomit constantly. He had, what is that? What does that say? Has that piss? Dire. Oh, 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 ac oh, okay. I thought it was like a medical condition. Oh, Ended oh my God. Bad case of staff. I understand. I mean, that is a red medical condition. But... <laughs> but there are some who take that chance. You have to learn to accept that dumpster food is never 100% safe to eat. The Canadian Medical Association Journal released an article talking about the health risks that can come with eating dumpster food. Jim Chan, <laughs> the manager of food safety at Toronto Public <laughs> Health in Ontario, cautions people that there's a reason people throw food out. Carla Esco, a public health consultant and professor in the Environmental Health Department at Concordia University College in Edmonton, Alberta, spoke of how risky dumpster diving can be as no one knows what's in the garbage. Carla brought up a number of risks that divers face, including possible injuries from nails, broken glass, and other sharp objects that may be in a dumpster. There's also the possibility of becoming ill from bacteria, as the dumpsters themselves are breeding grounds for bacteria and some are sprayed with pesticides. The food Ugh. in the bins can come into contact with these pesticides and even fecal matter from outdoor animals, which can True. affect any open wounds, according to Carla. Jim added that washing food also doesn't guarantee the chemicals or pesticides will be washed away. Common food poisoning can set in within 6 to 16 hours of eating the food. However, okay. <laughs> that that this this disgusts me. Okay, this disgusts me. Um you are putting dirty food into a tub of water. Okay? You're not letting the water rinse off. You're not letting it in, like anything rinse off. It's just sitting in filth. This isn't cleaning it. It is just bathing it in its own filth. It's disgusting. It's like saying a human dirty in a bathtub full of water you're not cleaning you're just sitting in your filth this is this is gross this is not cleaning you don't you're not cleaning you're just bathing it in its filth disgusting food poisoning can set in within 6 to 16 hours of eating the food however foodborne illnesses like hepatitis a can take anywhere from 15 to 50 days to make itself known disease isn't the only thing to worry about when diving your life could be on the line in January 2020, a North Carolina woman went missing while presumably dumpster diving. A going? month later, 30-year-old Stephanie Cox's remains were found in a landfill. <gasps> Investigators believe while Stephanie was dumpster diving at a five below in her area, Stephanie was unable to make it out of the dumpster before it was serviced by a garbage truck. Wait, the they didn't hear her? Hey, wait, 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 wait. I have so many questions. How? Yeah, but... The, the, when the dumpster is picked up, you don't hear the person screaming like, Hey, I'm in here. The trucks are loud as f Oh. They- Oh. Carolina Police Department released a statement about the situation. This case brings to light the dangers associated with collections from dumpsters. The commonly known practice of dumpster diving is not safe. Dumpster diving may seem like a good way to save money and reduce waste, but it's not worth risking. Like, yeah! Money. Okay, so the, the thing is open, right? You can see her, like, there, standing there. Did they not... Was it not open? Did she just close the lid on herself? Probably was a different make. Life over. With all these dumpsters seemingly filled with unsold food and products, you might be wondering how, and why, we got here in the first place. And you may be wondering how we can stop this waste, especially food waste. But the answers aren't exactly easy. We're stuck? And the solutions don't work for everyone. 
In our past, our past video, style? we spoke about why Maybe. stores uh? overstock their shelves just to throw a lot of it out. A lot of the time, it can be hard to estimate how much product they'll need, so they'll order extra to avoid running out or they'll overstock to encourage consumers to buy more. Unfortunately, large retailers and supermarkets don't have a perfect system figured out. In fact, according to The Guardian, approximately 45% of all fruits and vegetables, 35% of fish and seafood, 30% of cereals, and 20% of meat and dairy products are wasted by retailers and suppliers. This Damn. isn't necessarily the buyer's fault, but we can help do our part by reducing waste in our lives by doing things like composting, recycling, and reusing items. If you want to take things a step further, you can shop at farmer's markets as they contribute to less waste. Sadly, True, I, they don't have any farmer markets. Continue to get tossed. And as long as that continues, dumpster divers will continue to give this waste a new life. Dumpster diving isn't for the faint of heart. Getting caught by employees or officers can be embarrassing or frightening for some. The situation I don't think it's embarrassing. I I don't think people should be embarrassed by dumpster diving. It's actually pretty cool that they do that because they are limiting the waste. I mean, it, it sucks if they get sick. But I mean, power to you. Power to you. Keep doing it. <laughs> Just be safe when you do it. <laughs> There's a possibility you could be charged for a number of unrelated. I'm issues. all for helping the planet. Anything that helps the planet, I'm fine with it. It's a strange world we live in, where taking someone's trash can still upset them, even if the end result has a positive effect on the world. I called one of the store managers. I said I'm not wanting to make a mess or anything. I was just wondering if. Um, if it was okay if I checked in your dumpster and stuff, and she was like, well, um, I put locks on my dumpster because people were stealing out of my dumpster, so, and that made me so, I, I wanted to laugh so bad, stealing out of your dumpsters. I just don't understand how people think the way that they think it's like, it's going to the landfill, why do you even care? Dumpster diving is a way of living for many people. It's their way of feeling liberated and allows them to give back to the community in ways they never could before. As long as you respect the laws within your city and True. stay protected, dumpster diving is harmless. Yep. This is the story about how dumpster divers are changing how we see waste. Yeah, I'm all for it. Just do what, you know, make sure you're following the law. You're not harming anybody. I don't see any problem with it. If you're just doing it for yourself, and I guess if you're donating, but please, if you're going to donate dumpster stuff, make sure you notify the people you're donating it to so they have an option to say, no, we don't want that. Because again, it could have like contaminations because they had to throw it out for recalls and stuff, you know? Pecs behind target like, oh, it's trash. <laughs>